Hi, everyone. It's Frank Sinatra, editor of All Around Penn Talk and Penn Talkin's monthly newspaper. And we are here with the casual Friday edition of the AAP Weekly Roundup. Uh, it is a gorgeous, very hot August Friday. Hi, Gloria. Good to see you. Hey, Ben. That's Gloria. She's just watching. Okay. So there's a, there's a few things. Uh, some of them happened today, so let's get right to it. Uh, earlier this afternoon, the Camden County Police Department issued arrest warrants for three individuals, two from Camden, one from Philadelphia, that were connected with last week's shooting of two undercover police officers. Um, the detectives were in their car at a stoplight, and uh, over two dozen rounds were, were, were unloaded into the vehicle. They did sustain uh, no life-threatening injuries, uh, which was extremely lucky, uh, but there's a full-on concerted effort to arrest these individuals. These suspects are considered armed and dangerous. We have uh, a link to our story that we're including right here in the post. So. Uh, if you have any information, please uh, contact police. And hi, Gloria, again. Okay, uh, the Pensacola Township Police Department is now hiring Pensacola residents as school crossing guards. Interested parties can fill out an application at the Pensacola Township Municipal Building, which is 5605 North Crescent Boulevard uh, in Pensacola, New Jersey, uh, during normal business hours. So that would be Monday through Friday, uh, 8.30 to 4.30 p.m. And we've got information about that here. And, uh, yeah, there's a there's a, an application that you have to fill out that they have at the main desk, and um, and then the police will be uh, reviewing applicants as the uh, as they come in. So this weekend, uh, an autism benefit for Pennsylvania resident Carly Tobia will be on this Saturday, August the 18th, from 2 to 7 p.m. at AMVETS Post 101. Uh, that's at 519 June Road in Del Air. The event features good food, beer, live DJ, silent auction, and more. The cost is just $25 per person, $40 a couple. And uh, you can purchase tickets at the door, and that link is right there. Also this weekend, Aluminum Shape's first annual car show will be held at their facility located at 9000 River Road in Del Air on Sunday, August 19th. The event begins at 11 a.m. will continue to 4 p.m. The rain date is Saturday, September 1st. Public admission is free. There is a $10 entry fee for participating vehicles. All funds raised will be matched by Aluminum Shapes and will benefit Pennsylvania youth athletic activities. So uh, come out and support the PYAA should be a good event. Also, a reminder that um, Pensalkin's Car, Bike, and Craft Show will be coming up next month, September 23rd, as we are talking about car shows. That will be held from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. along a portion of the Maple Mile right by Pinsetter's Bar and Bowl in Pensalkin. Usually there's uh, several hundred cars, a lot of motorcycles. There will be a lot of uh, family fun activities. There will be food, food trucks, a beer garden, and a huge screen to watch a certain football team that won a Super Bowl earlier this year. So uh, we'll provide some more information on that as, um, as it becomes available and as they make some additional announcements to kind of help uh, rev up interest in the event. So the next Pensacola Township Committee meeting will be held on Wednesday, August 22nd. All Township Committee meetings begin at 5.30 p.m. and are held at the Pensacola Township Municipal Building, which we mentioned earlier was 5605 North Crescent Boulevard in Pensacola. Um, this notification has been uh, submitted to the papers of record as uh, in accordance with uh, the, Siren, uh, the Senator Byron M. Uh, Bear Open Public Meetings Act which is just fancy meaning that they, they have to announce this to the public in advance. So formal action may be taken at these meetings. Um, the agendas are usually posted um, that afternoon uh, prior or prior to the meeting. So there's that, and we will put a calendar link for that from the township website, which is right there. Okay. Uh, the uh, PMAC, 
Pennsauken Merchantville Area Chamber of Commerce is hosting its fifth annual luau on Thursday, August 23rd from 5 to 8 p.m. at Inglesby and Sons Funeral Home, which is 2426 Cove Road. For a $20 donation, participants will enjoy food, drinks, and entertainment, all for two very worthy causes. Penn Salkin's Angel Tree Program, which helps families in need during the holidays uh, put items underneath the Christmas tree, and uh, Hurricane Maria Relief Fund. Uh, there's, uh, the folks in Puerto Rico are still recovering uh, from the devastating effects of the hurricane and uh, things still aren't right there. So uh, funds need to be uh, still thrown at that problem. And that's the story on that. Oh, somebody give me a thumbs up. So who else is new? I knew Gloria is here. Who, who showed up? Say hi. Don't leave me hanging. Because I know, I, I know everybody rushes to watch these videos. But just wanted to say hi. Give you a shout out if you're here. At least you're being patient enough to watch. So we'll check that out. Um, another thing that we'd like you to check out is our article on Sebastian Foster. He is a three-year-old boy, very precocious, uh, precocious according to his mom. Uh, he is a Pennsauken resident and he is in need of a kidney transplant. Uh, he was born with a, a uh, with some uh, bad kidneys and uh, and they knew that the transplant was coming. However, um, they thought that, you know, just with time, they would be able to push it back a little bit until he was a little bit older. Uh, but things have gotten uh, steadily worse. Um, it is, you know, not necessarily touch and go, but they are really in need of, of, uh, of a kidney transplant. And live donors are preferred. And uh, there's a, it's actually easier for a, an individual to donate a kidney uh, as opposed to um, getting it the other way. So we're gonna provide a link on that. If you wouldn't mind sharing that, I know a lot of people have already clicked on that article um, and, we're, and we're glad that, that people have clicked on the article about Sebastian. Here's the link there. We'd like you to share it as well as uh, sharing the articles that we, we, we do put on a, on a regular basis. I know that the township has just uh, put out some information about the flag placement that's coming up on September 11th. Harvest Festival, they're still in need of sponsors and uh, food vendors and the information is up on the township website for that and there's a variety of different things going along uh, in in town we just uh, were at uh, public works earlier this week the president steve show in conjunction uh, in conjunction with dunkin donuts uh, one of their sponsors the uh, cooling caravan came to public works that was kind of fun and uh, they gave uh, some iced coffee to the guys before they, they uh, shuffled off to work. And we provided information on that on our Facebook page. You can go and take a look at that as well. Also, Brian Wachter from Channel 19 uh, put together a video segment already on the, uh, there was a ribbon cutting of the uh, Little Angels Playground. The Platzer family uh, who grew up in town and they're known for PJ Wellihans and Penn Center's Bar and Bowl. They, uh, they sponsored the whole, pretty much the whole park. And it was a nine month project and um, very generous donation. They were, they grew up in town, went to St. Cecilia's. So it was near and dear to their heart. They dedicated it to their mother, which was kind of cool. Bob Platzer was uh, very emotional in his speech. And you'll see that in the video that Ryan put together. We'll share that link uh, after the broadcast. So please feel free to share whatever we have on our Facebook page. Please feel free to visit our website, allaroundpensalking.com, and share those articles. And remember, no matter where you go, there you are. Have a great weekend, folks, and we'll see you soon.